Okay. So, we are given the cosine theta is negative 2 over 3. And cotangent theta is greater than 0. Find the other 5 trigonometric functions of theta. Okay, remember there are 6 trigonometric functions of theta. But now, one of them is given. The cosine theta is negative 2 over 3. And we begin from there. So, cosine of theta is negative 2 over 3. So, we know that cosine of theta, based from our formulas, that this is, this is equal to x divided by r. Okay? It's equal to x over r. Now, based from parallelism, we can say that x is equal to negative 2 and r is equal to 3. Remember, r cannot be negative. Okay, so when a given value is negative, the, the, the negative should be x and not r. Okay, so x is negative 2 and r is 3. Okay, and then we solve for y. The sign of y depends on what quadrant does the terminal side of the angle lies. Okay, so where does our angle lie? Cosine theta is negative, correct? So if cosine theta is negative, it should lie either on quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. Okay? We need to be more specific. That is why another uh, there is another condition here. Cotangent of theta is greater than zero. That is, uh, uh, that means that cotangent of theta is greater than zero. This means that it theta should be in quadrant three. Because cotangent of theta is only positive at quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Okay, so if we use the two clues together, cosine of theta is negative and cotangent theta is positive, then it is referring to quadrant 3. Okay, so the sine of the y value in quadrant 3 is negative. That is why we use uh, the sine value, uh, the value of the y to be negative. And then let us solve for y. I remember our formula for uh, relating the three variables for x, y, and r is r squared equals x squared plus y squared, the Pythagorean theorem. So if we solve this in for y in terms of x and r, this is y equals the square root of r squared minus x squared. So we will use this formula to solve for y. We already know the value of r and x. So y is equal to the square root of, okay, this is 3 squared minus negative 2 squared. Okay. So y is equal to, this is square root of 9 minus 4 okay 9 3 squared is 9 negative 2 squared is 4 so y therefore is equal to square root of okay square root of 5 okay so now we know the values of x y and r so we can now actually compute for the other trigonometric functions but remember our value for y should be negative because our terminal side lies on the third quadrant. X should be negative, Y should be negative, uh, tangent and cotangent should be positive. Okay, now we can now write all the trigonometric functions of theta. Let us start with sine of theta. Sine of theta is Y over R. Okay, so this is negative square root of 5 over r is 3 okay 
So y is negative square root of 5 and r is 3. Cosine of theta is already given negative 2 thirds. So let us go with tangent of theta. Okay, so tangent of theta is okay, y over x. So negative square root of 5 over negative 2. Okay, you see both y and x are negative. So we can actually write it as a positive. Okay, so square root of 5 over 2. Okay, and then cosecant of theta. Cosecant of theta is just the reciprocal of sine of theta. So this is basically negative 3 over square root of 5. Okay. And then we can actually rationalize this one. This can be written as 3 square root of 5 over 5. Or 3 over square root of 5 is good enough for me. Okay. And then tangent, cosecant, and then secant of theta. Second of theta is the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine is negative 2 thirds, so this is negative 3 over 2. And then the last one is cotangent of, yes, cotangent of theta. Cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent, so this is 2 over square root of 2 over square root of 5. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for the uh, for this problem. And remember, if you have any questions about the topics that we are discussing here, you are free to ask them. Dito sa ano natin? Dito sa MVLE natin. If you look at our MVLE, Okay, so if you look at our MVLE, meron akong linagay dito na discussion questions on trigonometric functions. You can use this one. If you have any questions or clarifications, you can click on this one and you can write whatever you want as long as it is related to our discussion on trigonometry. Okay? So if you have any questions about our solutions, our problems, or... Uh, you want to if, if you do not know how to answer one just let me know here okay thank you very much for listening and bye